Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Humpback whales are cosmopolitan, living in all of the world's oceans and traveling amazingly long distances to eat and breed each year. The humpback gets its common name not from an actual hump on its back, but rather from the large hump that forms when they arch their backs preparing for a dive. Their scientific name, Megaptera, which is Latin for large wing, refers to their massive pectoral fins. There are many interesting facts about the humpback whale, and here follow 10 of our favorites. Number 10. Humpbacks have a distinctive appearance. Humpbacks are black on the upper side and spotted black and white on the underside. They have a dorsal fin on their backs and its shape and color is unique to each whale. Just like a human fingerprint, researchers use this unique feature to study whale migration, sexual maturity, population sizes and behavior patterns. Humpback whales are large creatures that can grow between 49 and 62 feet or 15 to 19 meters. Some of their most distinctive characteristics are their long pectoral fins, better known as flippers. These flippers can grow to a massive size of 16 feet or 5 meters long, making them the longest flippers of any baleen whale. Although these flippers may look overly long, scientists have found they are actually very hydrodynamic and quite maneuverable. Their tails are also massive and can grow up to 18 feet or 5.5 meters wide. These giant whales can weigh up to 40 tons and the females are typically larger than the males. Number 9. They have varied habitats. Humpback whales live along the coasts of all oceans, occasionally swimming close to shore even into harbors and rivers. They undertake long migrations between polar feeding grounds in the summer and tropical or subtropical breeding grounds in the winter. Some humpback populations travel as far as 5,000 miles or 8,000 kilometers in the open ocean each year and hold the record for the longest migration in the animal kingdom. The exception to this are the humpbacks that live in the Arabian Sea, which stay there year-round, eating and mating all in the same area. These whales are also genetically distinct from other humpbacks, and estimates suggest that they have remained isolated from other populations for over 70,000 years. These humpbacks don't migrate, sticking to the waters around Yemen, Oman, Pakistan, India and Sri Lanka. Number 8. They eat a lot. In order to store up enough blubber to sustain them throughout their winter migration, humpback whales spend most of their time eating up to 2,000 pounds or 900 kilograms of food each day while in feeding grounds. These large marine mammals are part of the baleen whale suborder, consuming small prey such as krill, squid, herring, haddock, mackerel, salmon and various other fish. They are filter feeders which involve swimming towards a group of fish or krill with their mouth open. The baleen bristles in their mouths act as a filter by trapping the prey within the bristles while allowing the water to filter through. The humpback's varied diet makes them one of the most diverse eaters within the baleen whale family. While the adult humpback whale is known for its diverse diet, baby humpbacks start their journey by consuming their mother's milk, just like other mammals. Number 7. They are creative hunters. As mentioned, humpbacks often filter feed by swimming with their mouths open to catch any fish in their path. But sometimes humpback whales use a technique called bubble net feeding, which is a cooperative hunting strategy that occurs within a group of whales. It's a complex, highly synchronized set of behaviors that involves communication and cooperation, demonstrating signs of high social intelligence. To bubble net feed, whales dive deep below schools of fish and blow bubbles from their blowholes to stun and trap the fish closer to the surface. One whale generally leads the effort, followed by the rest of the group. The leader will be responsible for blowing the bubbles and the others will surround the fish, following them to the surface by swimming in spiral patterns to keep the fish tightly corralled. The whales swimming upward keep their mouths open and gulp fish from the school they have trapped. Number 6. They can live a long life. When humpback whales are born, they can weigh as much as 1 ton and generally measure 9 to 16 feet or 3 to 5 meters long. For the first year of their lives, they remain by their mother's side nursing on her milk. During this year, they grow rapidly up to 26 feet or 8 meters. Adolescent humpbacks begin to travel with other groups or in pairs and they spend most of their lives feeding. 
At around six years old, a humpback whale becomes sexually mature. Males of a reproductive age are between 39 to 52 feet or 12 to 16 meters long, and the females can sometimes be larger. Humpback whales can enjoy a long life, living on average between 40 and 60 years. Number 5. Reproduction is seasonal. One of the most important components involved in humpback whale reproductive habits is their migration pattern. They have incredible endurance capabilities traveling vast distances during each seasonal migration with almost no rest along the way. Due to migration patterns, reproduction is strongly seasonal and ovulation in the females occurs during winter. Once they have arrived at their winter breeding grounds, intense competition to mate begins between the males. The most commonly observed aggressive behavior is the head lunge, during which a whale will thrust its head forward out of the water, often with the throat area inflated. Males also attract females through singing. Humpbacks are known for their singing, something that is done only by males and primarily in the winter breeding grounds. This courting will eventually lead to mating. The male and female first swim in a line, then engage in rolling, flipping, and tail flucking. Next, both dive and then surface vertically with ventral surfaces in close contact. They emerge from the water at a point below their flippers and then fall back onto the surface of the water together. Number four, they breach spectacularly. Breaching and lunging are common behaviors among humpback whales. Breaching whales emerge with great power from the water and slap back down with a loud boom. There are a number of theories as to why humpback whales and other marine mammals breach. In some cases, humpback whales will breach more frequently in rough seas when their songs are harder for other whales to hear. They may simply breach to have a look around at what is going on above the water, such as in cases where they might hear a boat. They may breach because of something happening underwater that we cannot see from the surface. During breeding times, males accompanying females and calves to breeding grounds will breach as a warning to other males not to get too close. Another theory is that they enjoy breaching and are simply having fun. Number three, their flukes are unique. The humpback's large tail is also known as a fluke and no two humpback whales ever have the same markings on their flukes. It is primarily via the pattern on the underside of their flukes that scientists are able to identify individual humpback whales. This pattern varies from nearly all white to nearly all black, but characteristically contains a variety of black or white patches, lines, or streaks. Each year, using this unique identifying feature, researchers and naturalists work together to name new adult whales and second-year calves. Number two, their songs are famous. Humpback whales are known for their haunting evocative calls or songs. These complex sequences of moans, howls, and cries can last for hours and travel vast distances underwater. The exact function of the humpback song is not known, but there are many theories. As it is the male that produces the long, complex songs, mostly during the breeding season, scientists speculate that they may sing to attract females. Their songs could also act as challenges to other males. There is another theory that humpback songs have an echolocative function, acting as sonar, so that the whales can see and navigate around their environment. Humpbacks also use grunts, groans, and snorts to communicate with one another. Calves are known to whisper to their mother using low tones that can only be heard from a short distance away. This may help them avoid predators and big males. Number one, populations are recovering. The International Union for Conservation of Nature classifies humpbacks as a species of least concern on the red list of threatened species. However, as recently as 1988, humpback whales were listed as endangered. Populations have recovered due to the introduction of commercial whaling bans. Humans hunted humpback whales commercially for oil, meat and baleen from the 17th to 20th centuries. Humpback whales are still hunted in very small numbers under Aboriginal subsistence whaling permits and conservative sustainable quotas are set by the International Whaling Commission in Greenland and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Humpback whales are still at risk from a number of threats, however, including entanglement in fishing gear, ship strikes, habitat degradation, oil and gas development, and climate change. There are an estimated 80,000 humpback whales living in our oceans today.
Humpback whales are awesome creatures and it's with a certain measure of relief that we see their numbers are growing in our oceans. Which of the characteristics of the humpback whale did you find the most interesting? If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Click on the notification bell for updates on our latest marine videos and stay curious.